Good day, good people. Welcome. It's Rusty Money here on PlayStation Network and Rusty Money Gaming on YouTube. We are here to bring you a episode of Rusty's Farm Tour, starting here on Calmsden Farm for Farming Simulator 22 on PlayStation 4. So, this is a Let's Play series that's brand new to the channel for Farming Simulator 22 content. And so, this is more or less going to be a tour across the Farming Simulator 22 globe. And we're starting here on Calmston Farm, and we are in New Farmer Mode, and we'll be doing this all in New Farmer Mode everywhere we go. But what we will be doing is we may use the new farmer mode equipment or we may sell it out and use some government signs and buy what I want to buy and uh, just have some fun and show you some interactive farm tours here with myself, Rusty Money, and uh, learn some things about each map and also uh, get familiar with some modded animal pins as we start to get more mods here in Farming Simulator 22. And maybe even build some custom farms on forestry maps as well. So I hope you sit back and relax and enjoy the first episode for this new Let's Play series I'm calling Rusty's Farm Tour. So, again, this is in New Farmer Mode here on Calmsden Farm, and this is all the equipment that you would start with in New Farmer Mode. You have a Claws Harvester over there by the John Deere tractor, and then here is your header and a header trailer for the harvester. And then you start with the JBC uh, Telehandler with some telehandler attachments, a bale spike, a pallet fork, and a shovel bucket. And then you get yourself a little coon baler and a, a disc carrow and a cultivator and a wing mower and a roller for your fields. And then you get yourself a little crampy kipper trailer and a Fent 714 Vario with one tractor weight on the farm and you get yourself a fertilizer sprayer right there and you get yourself two John Deere 6230Rs here on Calmsden Farm, but that is not what we're going to start this new farmer mode here with on Calmsden Farm. We're going to have some fun with some other things that I want to use. So I hope you all sit back and we'll be back with you momentarily as I uh, bring in some new things and we take you on the first farm tour here on Calmsden Farm. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I have decided to sell all of the equipment that we start with in New Farmer Mode and choose some things that we're going to have fun here with. So we're going to go on a little tour of both of the farms here on Calmsden and uh, give you a little equipment tour. And then we're going to get right into this new Let's Play. Uh, for my Farming Simulator 22 content. So, I hope you all will uh, enjoy this series with me. But uh, we just fed uh, Farm Dog Murphy right there, and he's wandering around here somewhere. But I'm sure we'll see him here. But let's hop in our John Deere side-by-side -side here, and we'll go up to the farm, and we will see you there. All right, well, welcome back, everybody. Let's pull into the farm here. Park the old gator. 
and see what we got going on. Oh, hey, there's a there's a corn header. It looks like. Oh, that must be for a John Deere. We got ourselves a big Stratman tipper trailer. What else do we got? Ooh, that is a big John Deere header for a harvester. Let's see what else is here. Whoa, hey, look at there. We got ourselves a big crop protection sprayer, a big hardy sprayer, and a big John Deere harvester. And we got ourselves a Case 400 Magnum. All right, let's see what else is here. Hi, right, we got ourselves some multi-buy station right there by 82 Studios. Oh, hey, we got ourselves, it looks like a Lizard 9M plow, and we got ourselves a cultivator and a disc harrow, and we got ourselves a lime spreader and a crone mower. All right, we're gonna have lots of fun here with this big equipment. Let's see what's in here. Wow, we got ourselves a big old Amazon Cedar and a Coverland round baler, and we got ourselves a roller and a case square baler and a JCB fast track. Well. I think we better get up to the other farm and see what we got up there, everybody. So let's hop back on the gator. And we will drive over to the other farm. And see what's going on over there. So we will see you over at the other farm. All right, well, we're over here at the other farm. Let's see what's all going on here. Well, looks like we got ourselves a little Joskin water tanker and a Flegel tipper trailer and a milk trailer. Let's see, is there anything in this shed? Oh, this shed is empty. Let's check over here. Whoa, we got ourselves the little three-point Joskin little tipper box and another Case 240 Puma CVX. Oh, that's pretty nice right there. Let's see, is there anything in this one? Oh, this one's empty. Well, what else is going on here? Hey, I see a new silo over there. Hey, we got ourselves a little multi-purpose buying station over here, too. That's going to be handy. We got ourselves a multi-fruit silo right there at the corner of this field. That'll be handy. Well, now, everybody, we got to show you what else we got going on. We got $199,896 in the bank right now that we're going to use and uh, we're going to do some animals as well everybody but uh, right here we have uh, we have some cows here we have 22 head of dairy cattle right here we got ourselves our m manure bunker right here developing manure for us so a good place to put your uh, manure heap extension right there it did a little bit of terraforming to me but I, I got it fixed as best as we could I think it looks pretty good and then if y'all want to know your straw goes in about right here uh, if you're trying to figure that out, straw goes in about right there. 
and then your TMR can tip in about right here in this area you don't have to go all the way down there but yeah and you can buy more cows right here so that's the cows but we're gonna move on everybody we got other places to go so we'll be right back with you welcome back everybody well we are down here at the animal dealer on Calmsden farm we're gonna buy some sheep so let's get some sheep bought how about that do we just backed right up to the yellow chute there so let's hop in the tractor and get some sheep bought just bought ourselves a full load of sheep 13 head of sheep so now let's go take these up to the farm and we will have 22 sheep here as well and uh, we will see what else we got to go on so we'll see you all back up there at the farm well Welcome back everybody. Well, you also see here we got another JCB tractor and a little animal transport trailer So that's ours as well and uh, We got to get the sheep in the pen with our other nine head of sheep. So we're gonna have 22 sheep here as well Let's get these unloaded pretty good out there 22 head of sheep so we gotta get these fed and watered so we're gonna get busy here so we'll be right back with you all here but if you're curious about the sheep buy point it's kind of staggered it's over here and then if you hop the fence you can buy sheep over here as well it's not right on the little paw print. You don't get nothing when you stand on the paw print. So just remember, kind of over there by that post right there. And then out here at this corner of the driveway to the, to the animal pen. All right, well, let's get back up to the other farm. We got to get in our gator, so let's drive up there. So yeah, I hope you all will enjoy this Let's Play with me. I've never made really a Let's Play. <laughs> well, I kind of did. I did Back to the Sticks on Newbrook Farm, but nothing like this. So yeah, I hope you will enjoy this. But look at our dairy cows. Look really nice in there. Yeah, we got some different grass in there in that field. We were trying to figure some things out. So we might plow that field up and plant new grass. All right, let's get this pulled in here and hop in our in our gator. We're just gonna park this right here. Let's get in the gator. We got some wheat right here, so we gotta go down to the animal pens. So let's drive down there to the animal pens. So we'll see you all down there. Alright, well, welcome back everybody. 
Larry down here at the animal pen area. Look at there, what is that? We got ourselves a, a tractor and a water trailer over here. What do we got over here? We got ourselves a Case 130 and a nice water trailer right here with all the animals. That's going to be nice. Okay, well, let's see. We need to we need to get some chickens. We don't have any chickens yet. We need some chickens. So let's go over here to the chicken pen. Oh, we got ourselves a nice fill silo there and a water hydrant free water hydrant we can get free water from all right let's uh let's do some chickens here let's back this thing up all right let's buy some chickens uh, the buy point for the chickens is kind of staggered too it's over here so let's buy 22 chickens There we go. Okay, let's buy some more. Okay, now we have now we have chickens. Okay, well, we're going to feed these chickens. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't selected on it. So you can fill it from outside of the fence. All right, we need to get them some more wheat. But if we go up here, everybody, open that gate there for a second. This is your, this is the horse area that we got here, a little horse playground. And we got pigs up here, everybody. We got 22 head of fat pigs right there in the pasture. So we got to take care of some pigs as well. All right. Well, we got to go and uh, get these chickens fed up a little bit more. I don't know how much this is going to take. We'll see here. We shouldn't need too much because we only got 22 chickens. Let's look in our menu. Ooh, chickens, they need a lot bit a lot more yet. A lot more. Alright, well, let's get the tractor and the trailer then. I think. This this will take too long doing it this way. <laughs> Eight hundred liters at a time. Let's see, can we uh, feed them from a side point? Hey, we can feed them sideways too. You just gotta be on the trigger, like so. All right, well now, the well, thing I was gonna show you about the pigs, the pigs up here, let's hop, open the gate. Now yeah, we can just, the pig buy point is right on spot. So it's right at the little icon. But uh, up here, 
in this pasture, it's a pig pasture, so you don't get no slurry and you don't get no manure off of them. So here's your water point and your feed point, and they all work really well. And these pigs got a big area to play around in and make a big mess. So, yeah, great little pig pasture right there. All right, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to buy a couple of horses. We're going to have a couple of horses here as well. So we got to buy those. So let's check that out. We got the chicken some feed for right now. Let's see about some horses here. We're going to buy a couple of paint pinto horses it looks like their name is honey and sunny <laughs> so we got honey and sunny here on the farm with us all right well we got to get honey and sunny some feed and water so I believe they need both but let's look Horses, we just got to give them base feed and some straw. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, we get that done. We get these horses fed. So, I think... We will get these horses and the sheep and chickens and all that fed and taken care of. So uh, we'll be right back with you all very shortly. Welcome back everybody. We have got all of the livestock fed and taken care of. And so we're just on a little trot here with our good friend Sonny and we already went for a trot on honey so yeah we're just taking Sonny here for a nice trot we got the horses fed and uh, this uh, let's play uh, Rusty's farm tour is all about learning everybody and so I hope you learned some things along the way because I've already learned some things <laughs> and we'll show you but uh, yeah, here with the horses, you know, uh, you put all of the feed uh, about, you can dump all the hay and straw and everything at about right here where the horse is standing on this uh, in-game horse pen, somewhere very near to that location. And the interesting thing that I've been trying to figure out, everybody, is uh, what exactly they take for an amount. So we'll look at the horses right now. Okay, so here with the horses, you see uh, total effectiveness. They're 11,495 liters. And then you got a base food uh, that's 60%, which would be like your uh, oats or sorghum. And then you got hay for 39%. So the trailer that I was using to feed these is up there at the cow farm. And that one, I'll show you what it was. So what I was trying to do so we'd get a hundred percent in effectiveness which I'm not sure if I have that but I think I'm pretty close with the horses the pigs the pigs I messed up and I'll show you that uh, the rest of them you can't really uh, goof up because the cows you give them a hundred percent or you give them all TMR, it gives you 100% uh, effectiveness, so you don't have to give them anything else. And the sheep are really easy. Uh, 
and the chickens of course are easy as well but we'll show you all that so the tipper trailer I was using it holds like 30,000 liters if I remember correctly and I'll show you what tipper that is so basically I was filling that to 60% full and which is not going to be the same value as what you need to feed out but I was trying to just figure this out and so what I did was is I would give them so much and then I would shut the tipper off and then I'd give them some more and try and get that number for base food at what I believe was 60% so I think that uh, I'm really close to that 60% with 7,845 liters but I think I'm a little high and the only reason I say that is because I can't give them any more food and my hay bar is still in the red with 3,650 liters now I'm not no math but mathematician at all <laughs> but I would imagine what we need uh, is our total liters is 11,495 so whatever 60% of that would be um, and I'm not too sure <laughs> uh, what that value would be uh, that's not right. Let's see. Uh, so, the, yeah, that would probably be correct. So, the base food that you would need, I believe, would be 6,897 liters of base food, so oats. So I'm a little high with 7,845. And then you'd have to give them, um, let's see here. You'd have to give them 4,483 liters of hay then. So if you gave them about just over 6,000 liters of base food and just over 4,000 liters of hay, then you should be at total effectiveness for your horses with only two horses. I don't like how they have this. It makes it interesting, but when you don't know what your total value is going to be, unless somebody can comment that, below this video that would be appreciated uh, that would be interesting to know and then the straw of course that's easy because you just need a total amount so we got 3199 liters of straw for two horses so yeah a little a little interesting right there I think so I hope uh, that helps you now with the chickens here um <laughs> let's stop the horse i don't the the controls for the horse aren't as good as what they were in 19 it don't turn as good in my opinion okay so let's look at the chickens here now our chickens we've got 22 chickens and two roosters and so that's easy. You, you just need 100% effectiveness, and the only thing you got is grain, so just some wheat or barley. So for 22 chickens, you can't, you can't really mess up chickens. It's uh, whatever you have for chickens, then you just bring over barley and you feed them to 100%. You don't have anything else to worry about. So it's 8,995 liters for 22 chickens and two roosters and we're at a hundred percent well we're only at 10 percent health right now but they're just in 10 percent productivity but but we're just starting this so that's the chickens and then if we move up to our pigs now we'll, we'll go to the sheep let's go to the sheep here first 
So let's uh, let's hop the fence, get some exercise. So our sheep, you know, um, stop the horse here again. So our sheep. So uh, we have 22 sheep again, and total uh, leaders for 22 is 45,954, and you just have to give them grass. Now, it says grass there, everybody, but you can give them hay. If you did not know that, uh, it says that down in the, the information below. Um, sheep eat grass and hay so you can give them hay even though that just says grass so once again you can't screw them up and you do have to give them water so 17,981 liters of water for 22 sheep all right now let's move on to the pigs and this is where I really I I messed up and I wish I would have uh, paid attention more uh, or at least uh, <laughs> yeah was a little bit more observant about this so our pigs right here we have 22 pigs and our pigs take 35,945 liters for 22 pigs and we have a total liter value for 22 pigs is 119,958 liters. So you need basically half of that in corn for base food. So um, 119 958 so you're gonna have to give them 58,779.42 liters of corn to get that exactly at 49 percent for 22 pigs and then you're gonna have to give them uh, oops wrong number there uh, then you're gonna have to give them 28,789 liters of barley or wheat for the 24 percent of grain of the 119,000 liters now for protein then you need 20 percent and protein is canola soybeans or sunflower so then you're gonna need you're gonna need 23 is that right that don't sound right let's see twenty three thousand nine hundred and ninety one liters of protein and then you need five percent of root crops so that's gonna consist of giving them potatoes or sugar beets and so you're only gonna need five thousand nine hundred and ninety seven liters of root crops for 22 pigs now I know that you're all gonna do a different variation in how many animals you're gonna need the pigs are gonna be the ones that you're really gonna want to pay attention to so just remember uh, purchase all your pigs put them in there and then hopefully it will give you a idea of 
your total liters, which I don't think it does. I uh, give you that total number. Now, I don't know that because, I, like I said, I screwed this up and I can't give them. <laughs> I can't give them the grain, the protein, or the root crops because I gave them too much base food. So now they're only, in my understanding, 49%. I gave them some grain, but I only was able to give them 68 liters of grain because they've already taken out a little of the base food. Now I tried to sell all these pigs and then redo this and my grain is still in my feed bunker. So I couldn't uh, I couldn't get the square for y'all, but that's the interesting part of how I want to do uh, my first ever Let's Play for FS22 called Rusty's Farm Tour is it's a interactive uh, learning experience for myself and hopefully you all. So hopefully you learned a little something here about our animals and also here on Calmsden Farm this is a pig pasture everyone so you can't get manure or slurry now you can see here we've got some in-game native grass that's painted in there in a circle and then if we trot over here we have some in-game native grass that's kind of in the shape of a rectangle right here well that's because I tried to place down a manure point and a slurry point which I had the wrong ones uh, because in the game for getting that proper manure and slurry off of your animals which would be in a in a barn not a pasture you need to use the silo extensions not the silo so let's just trot up to our cow farm on our wonderful sunny let's hop off here for a second and shut our gate to our pigs and we'll go up and check our cows on sunny here so let's uh let's go let's go up to the cow farm so yeah so you if you try to place down uh, a manure point and a slurry point here on Calmsden for pigs if you're trying to lay down the proper ones it actually tells you you can't because it's not sitting next to a barn uh, because like I said that is a pasture so you're not gonna get any slurry or manure off of it as far as I have tested so far and that has been off camera but now you can see we're up here by our beautiful dairy farm and so the cows are looking great but let's uh let's get over there uh behind our dairy barn and we'll just show you what i'm all talking about here let's jump the brick wall so as you can see here we got some native grass there in the shape of a square kind of well that's because I had tried to put down my silo there which I had my silo there and I didn't like it being in here with the cows and it just dawned on me to place it over there in the corner of that field and lose some of my field but here is uh, here is the manure heap extension and if you put it anywhere close to this barn then you will get manure and I'll show you which one you need now I watched uh, a youtuber I believe it was disturbed on YouTube and he has on PC a mod called uh, poop heap I think <laughs> or a pi pile of poop or a pile of poo a pile of poo I think is what the mod was called actually a pile of poo and so he found a little area inside this barn 
is very, very touchy, but he found a little area for the pile of poo mod, and I have no idea who that mod is by. I'm guessing it's a third-party mod. But that was by YouTuber Disturbed on YouTube, and he placed his manure point right there so then he could muck out the barn, actually, which was kind of cool to be able to do on PC. But just a little information there for you. So, okay, this is the manure heap extension, and let's show you that. So, we are here in the build mode now, and so, as you can see here, um, if we go down to buildings, and then across to silo extensions, and go down across the silos, you want the manure heap extension. It says it holds four million liters so that is this thing right here then you just place it next to your barn any which way you want it to be and then it will then give you the option for manure so yeah and then your slurry actually comes into this but it won't fill up no, oh, excuse me, I need a drink for a minute. Alright, there we go. So, yeah, so we are getting slurry and manure, so let's just show you that. So, here we are on the cows, and so... For 22 cows, uh, adult cows, you need 119,037 liters of total mixed ration to be at 100%. You need 40,238 liters of straw is what I have in here so far. So we don't have all of our straw in the barn yet. And we already have 82 liters of milk and 687 liters of slurry. Now even after you put down your manure heap extension you won't see in here um, the number of value for what you have for manure so if you walk over to this and now you'll see in the bottom right hand corner manure heap extension manure I already have 548 liters so you have to actually check on your manure and then your yeah so that is that right there and once again your your straw will go in about right here and your TMR you can get pretty much anywhere along here you don't have to go all the way in there by the icon you can actually be right here on the edge of the barn entrance so that is that but we've got a lot of things to do here everybody so let's jump back over our fence we need to get on Sonny and get him back to Honey so yeah I hope y'all learned a little something there we got to give these cows some more straw yet but uh, let's get back down to oh, see it just don't turn very good <laughs> uh, let's get back down to honey she needs some company with Sunny so yeah we're gonna take Sunny back to the pen and there we go again we just can't make the corners with the horse slow down so we'll see you all here in just a minute everybody it's time to let's go we got things to do here on Rusty's farm tour so this is how we're gonna start this series everybody and uh, this may be one episode it may be five episodes here on Calmsden farm and then we'll move across the globe in farming simulator 22 so we'll be right back with y'all here just momentarily welcome back everybody well I hope that you have somewhat enjoyed what we have decided to start 
as uh, Rusty's farm tour here on Calmsden Farm with uh, 22 animals per pen except for the extra two roosters uh, and the chickens. But yeah, this is just how I wanted to start Calmsden Farm with uh, having 22 animals per pen and just learning a little bit um, about the feeding and uh, how to do it exactly. <laughs> So each one of these farm tours on all of the areas that we will visit across the FS22 globe will uh, start out different. Now each one will start in new farmer mode, uh, either starting with the base game new farmer mode equipment or mixing it up with mods or selling it all as we did here and using all mods. But uh, yeah, each one of these will be different and uh, each one will do a different amount of animals. Maybe some we will do no animals. But uh, yeah, that's just how I wanted to start this one anyway. So I hope that you have enjoyed it so far. Uh, but now it's time to get busy everybody we've got lots to do here uh, we got to get our fields harvested and get crop out of the ground uh, now we're starting this one with a hundred and sixty six thousand uh, dollars after getting everything ready so we got to get some money um, so we can do some more things. We need to start some contracts, but we need to get uh, crop out of the ground here first so we can get these fields repurposed and figure out what else we're going to do and figure out how far we will be here on Calmsden Farm. I'm guessing we'll probably do a couple of episodes here on Calmsden Farm and we'll move to a different map. Now I sure learnt <laughs> a lot when it came to messing with those animals and so I hope you all did as well. Uh, there's just some more things that I want to learn uh, about doing the animals in FS22 and so yeah this has been interesting so far I realize uh, some of this was off camera but I hope what I've uh, incorporated into this first little episode which this isn't the first episode this is the second episode uh, after our short little introduction uh, episode in episode one for Calmsden Farm. But yeah, this is just how we're going to start Calmsden Farm and move forward with uh, 22 animals per pin and mods for equipment plus a little bit bigger amount of uh, equipment and size. And just have a little fun here and show you some other things on Calmsden Farm and uh, even possibly some other equipment as we progress here on Calmsden Farm for a few episodes. Uh, depending on what comes into the mod hub for mods and what we decide to, we like to use and uh, potentially sell to try something different. So, uh, we're going to get this field of wheat out of the ground, and so I hope y'all will uh, leave me a tasty one on that like button, and leave us a delicious comment in the comment section, and don't forget to share a box of donuts with all your friends and family by sharing the videos and the streams here on the channel. But from Rusty Money here, we're going to get this wheat out of this field and get this progressing so we can create the next episode. 
So, yeah, we will see you on the flip side, everybody. Have a good one.